pusher for the bottom lane that restart before is now with Jim Burton on the outside. And last time, he was working with Craig to help get him out front, right? That's right. Let's see if he can do it from the outside lane. It looks like he may be able to do it. Although the bottom looks stacked really nice. Don't run off Cole Custer. Right now, you can't write off anybody here in the top ten. The way this race has been going, this is still anyone's race. And they're way out again, Joey. Aggressive side wrap for Sheldon Creed. Racing up the, to that top lane. Jeb Burton is clear. Push from Parker Cleverman. This is where he's got to be so careful to not get so far out again. He's out there again, but they're pretty loose behind him. It looks like he's backing up. The two's going to be the first one with the run. If he transfers it to 48 or not, he's going to take the run. Here's the white flag. Final time around. Next flag ends the race, whether it be the caution or the checkers. Jeb Burton tried to win for a second time at Talladega. Sheldon Creed is there. Parker Kligerman is there. Garrett Smithley is in the mix. Here comes a big run. Double Zero is going to push the two car to Jeb Burton in the 27. If the two can get clear to 48. Gets the block in, Joey. And Jeb's doing a great good. job. He's doing a good job to defending that. He's going to keep some. He's going to want to keep him too wide back there. If one of them gets single file, the run's going to be big. Jeb's way out there again. One more big run coming to the start finish line. Watch that 48 in the outside lane. Watch the two. Here they come back through the tri oval. Garrett Smithley is spinning. They're racing back to the checkers. Will the caution come out at the line? It's Jeb Burton, and the caution is waving. Jeb Burton with his second career win at Talladega, and it's the first for Jordan Anderson Racing. How about that? What a great story. I'm so excited for Jordan Anderson and Jeb Burton, but everything that Jordan went through last year with his injury from the crash, to come back and get their first win. Absolutely awesome. Jeb did a great job at learning from his mistake of the last restart, putting himself back in position, Managing the gaps behind him, keeping them too wide, and really not letting them have a huge run come at him. Great job. It's fitting that this race ends under caution. Our 11th of the day. Yeah, at least another half dozen cars wrecked in this last one. See Jeremy Clements on pit road. Jeb Burton wins. Unofficially, Sheldon Creed was second. Parker Kligerman was third. Cole Custer ended up fourth. He wins the Dash for Cash $100,000. Brennan Poole was fifth. Second time he's finished top five here at Talladega. Cesar Baccarella was sixth. And Parker Retzloff, who nearly flipped earlier in the race, comes back and finishes inside the top ten. Here's this last lap crash. You're gonna see the 51 get a little help from the, maybe the 25, pushes him into the four. Those crashes all over on that last stretch there, Joey. Some happened to the 08 as well. Greg Golding. That's yeah, surprising. You know, I thought some of those runs you know, down the back straightaway that were gonna be coming to Jed were gonna to be too big for him to handle. And it they seems were. like they kind of stalled out right before they got there, and he was able to manage that. A couple of years ago, Jordan Anderson decided to go racing in the Xfinity Series. 